The Colorado River is a major source of water for 40 million people and farms in seven states in the western United States and the Republic of Mexico. It has been under immense pressure from the effects of climate change and human activities related to population growth, resulting in elevated levels of total dissolved solids, TDS, and total suspended solids, TSS. Higher TDS and TSS concentrations in the river have a direct negative effect on its water usage and the ecological health of aquatic organisms. To better understand the river's water quality, this study analyzed the spatiotemporal variation in TDS and TSS concentrations along the river. Results showed that TDS concentration was significantly higher in the upper part of the river while the lower part had a generally high level of TSSs. We also found that the activities in these two parts were distinctive and could be a factor in these variations. Results from the Kruskal-Wallis significance test indicated that there were statistically significant differences in TDS and TSS concentrations from month to month, season to season, and year to year. These significant variations were mainly due to seasonal increases in consumption, agricultural practices, snow. This article was authored by Godson Ebenezer Ajovu, Harun Stephen, and Sajad Ahmad. We are article.tv, links in the description below.